During the wake of his grandfather, Tommen is approached by Marjorie, who shares a few close words with the king and holds his hand briefly. All of this is observed by Cersei from afar. Claiming to be acting under Tommen's orders, Cersei convenes a meeting of the small council, declaring that Tommen has decided to wait until he's older to appoint his own hand of the king. She also invokes Tommen's name in appointing Mace Tyrell the new master of coin as well as the master of ships, in promoting Kyburn to master of whisperers, and in offering Kevin Lannister the new position of master of war. Kevin calls Cersei out, however, and refuses to serve unless Tommen himself asks him to. Tommen and Marjorie are finally married, to much fanfare. They waste little time in consummating the marriage, although it seems to go rather quickly. Tommen muses that his mother doesn't like King's Landing, and Marjorie subtly implies that Cersei will continue acting like a mother lioness around Tommen in spite of the fact that he's reached his majority and is now married. The following morning, Tommen walks with his mother on the battlements of the Red Keep and suggests that she might go back to Casterly Rock, since she's always described it as home. Cersei denies this, saying that King's Landing is her home. Tommen then asks if she would happier at Casterly Rock, after which Cersei immediately recognizes Marjorie's hand in manipulating her son. When Cersei later talks to Marjorie, she finds the younger queen bragging about Tommen's libido, which she says is to be expected, given that he's both a lion and a stag. However, their relationship soon turns sour, on Marjorie's part, after her brother, Loris Tyrell, is arrested by the faith militant for his homosexuality, Tommen is confronted by an angry Marjorie, who tells him that Cersei was most likely behind this to separate them. Tommen confronts his mother and demands that Loris be released, but she calmly tells him that she did not give the order, but it was the High Sparrow, although Tommen still blames Cersei for giving the High Sparrow an army in the first place. Tommen later goes to the Sept of Baelor to try and speak with the High Sparrow, but the Sparrows block his way, telling the young king that the High Sparrow is at prayer. His king's guard offer to fight their way through the crowd to get inside, but Tommen refuses, even when the common folk begin to insult him as a bastard and an abomination. He later regretfully tells his wife that he was unsuccessful. Tommen is present at Loris's tribunal, where Olivar provides testimony to his homosexuality, leading to his arrest. Marjorie is also arrested for providing false witness during the tribunal. As she is dragged away by the faith militant, she pleads for Tommen to intervene. In shock, Tommen decides not to create further conflict, signaling for his king's guard not to intervene in her arrest and subsequent incarceration. Later, he voices his frustration and his plans to attack the Sept of Baelor in front of his mother, who manipulates him into letting her handle the situation, citing that Marjorie would likely be the first casualty if Tommen should act against the faith militant. When this eventually leads to her capture by the sparrows, however, Tommen loses his appetite and falls into depression, refusing to eat and staying in his chambers, receiving no one. Following his mother's walk of atonement, Tommen becomes increasingly distant from Cersei, 